The case is simple. The defendant runs a tournament. You entered your team in a tournament. You paid a fee, and you claimed that the defendant pitted your team against kids who were much better players, much more seasoned players, and as a result of that, you only played two games. You were supposed to play three. You want your money back, plus, plus, plus. That's basically what the case is about. Yes, ma'am. The only thing is, the only difference is we, I called him before the games and told him that we were pitted in the wrong division. Uh, Sorry. How old are your players? Well, most of my kids are 10 and 11 years old on this team. Are these children on the team? Yes, ma'am. And how are you related to these two children? I'm his father. And who? That's my son. I'd like you to take the two boys outside. Come on, Phyllis. Okay. So they're 10 or 11. Some kids, when they're 10 or 11, are 5 foot 5, and some kids, when they're 10 or 11, are 3 foot 9. And when did you sign them up with Mr. Garrett's league. I called him before I signed him up to make sure that we were... Don't tell me to make sure. Just answer my question. Yes, ma'am. I, I signed him up sign... in October, ma'am. And you signed them up for how many games? It is guaranteed a three-game tournament. I'd like to see what you responded to if you have a contract Here's with him. Here's the receipt. Him. Okay. From the tournament. Three-game tournament. And when were those games supposed to be scheduled? The games were scheduled for Saturday, November the 5th. Did you play that game? Yes, ma'am. But prior to calling him and telling him that we were pitted against the wrong teams in the wrong divisions, and Mr. Garrett had told me that it was going to be all right and that he would take care of it on the end of it. So go ahead. There's nothing he can do. It's in the middle of the day. He's already started the tournament. He couldn't re-bracket or anything. And then I have via text messages proving that. I'd like to see it. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so it looks to me, Mr. Garrett, as if the very first game there were issues with your performance. Let's start out with simple things. Yes, ma'am. When you got to the field, I assume that you got to the field, you saw the other team. What made you suspect that this team was not in the same league as yours? The two teams that we had we'd been involved with that were on our schedule, I had already looked it up that uh, when they came in, I started talking to the coaches and I asked to make sure. Oh, you can't tell me what the, listen to me. Okay. Were they all 10 and 11 years old? Yes, and some of them could be 12. They could be. They 10 could to 12. Also be, they could also be 74. Graders. Yeah. But they were all about the same age. Yes, ma'am. So the two teams that you played were the same age as your players. But not a season. Our players weren't as seasoned as their players. Appreciate. They may not have been. Mm -hmm. You're not talking about people who were 40 or 30. You're talking about kids who were 10 and 11, but they were the same age. Yes, ma'am. Maybe it had to do with the coaching. No, it was due to, like, us being only prior to being together for three weeks. <laughs> Listen, you know, the problem is if you try to blame somebody else for what you fail to see, maybe it's just that if your group was only together for three weeks, Maybe you shouldn't have entered them in a tournament. But that wasn't the case. If I can just prove to you for one second. I'm in, Mr. Garrett's, hey, in, in Mr. Garrett's tournament, there's different divisions of this tournament. If you could see right here, I signed up for the A division, which is the recreational young kids. Can I see that, Yes, ma'am. So that's recreational all-stars. Yes, ma'am. That's what you're referring to here, is what you're telling me. The first team that you played against on the 5th of November were not rec all-stars. No. Show me that. On this one, okay, this right here shows a travel travel league. And then the second team is on this, is on this team. Just I'm sorry. tell me. So take it, circle it, show it to me, and then I will show it to Mr. Garrett. Now, Mr. Garrett, you acknowledge, sir, that a rec team is different from the other teams that are defined by experience. Yes, ma'am, and there are, there are several factors. Just there. a second. Yes, Don't sir. give me factors. Now, the first team that Mr. Illingworth's group played with, were they a rec team? That's uh, either a yes or a no. Yes, I believe so. No, don't. Not I believe so. It's your tournament. Y Take yes. a look and see. So, yes, can I explain how we... No, you can't the, explain the anything. Teams. You can answer my question. As far as I remember, How Franklin was a rec team, yes. Is Franklin a rec team? No, ma'am. When I talked to the parents, they'd been that same team had been together. That same team had been together for four to five years, if you ask my... Hold oh. on. Show me. I mean, I understand where he's going, and I don't think it has, as you suggest, anything to do with sportsmanship. If what I'm gathering from the plaintiff is that you have kids who are about the same age, but you have them with different levels of experience. The rec team is the lowest level of experience. Would that be a fair statement? Yes.